Please, let's go, Paul, please. So it's good, Paul, please. So good. So good. And you too? You too? Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. This is going to be a two-part video. <laughs> Nico, get your butt up here. Um, feel like I should probably explain the underwear. Miko is in heat, so those are little boys' underwear. I'm doing a whole video about it, so you will see that either next week or the week after. But that is why. And we are doing a two-part video today. So part one, we're going to unbox a bark box. And then part two, which is what you probably are here for, we are going to Marie Kondo all of the dog stuff. So... As part of Sustainable Summer, if you don't know what I'm talking about Sustainable Summer-wise, I'm doing a sustainability series the entire summer. This is, should be video two, but I'll link to the other video that kind of explains what's going on. But we are gonna go through all of our stuff, see what the dogs need and don't need, etc. And it just seems silly to go Marie Kondo all of their stuff when we had a box full of toys waiting for us. So. We will go ahead and open this and then get into the decluttering. All right. It's your job now, Nico. <laughs> Good girl. So, this is Pup You Up Home Workout. Let's see. Now, normally we get a little uh, explainer card in here. Where is it? Here we go. So. The Pup You Up workout, that fitness sensation that's sweeping the nation. Unleash your inner alpha dog. And it looks like it has a slide out. Oh, so, oh my god, it's, <laughs> it's a VHS. That is hysterical. Miko is drooling already and we haven't even opened up any treats. But yes, I love that that is a VG, uh, VHS. And then it kind of explains all of the toys that are possible in here, as well as some of the treats. So we will go ahead and get into them. The first is Pup You Up Turkey and Pumpkin Powered Dog Treats. Real turkey is the first ingredient. It boosts the immune system, all natural and grain free, boosted by cranberries. One of these days, I'm going to learn my lesson and not sit on the floor and be drooled on by two dogs. So no wheat, no soy, no corn, and grain-free. What is that? And a lot of bark box. Oh, <laughs> a lot of bark boxes treat smell really bad. These don't at all. Thank you for that. Yuck. Can you can you back up so we're not totally drooling on me? Sit down. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Okay, next we have our first toy. And it looks like this is a stopwatch. It has a little bit of fuzz on the back. This is Hustle Fur Muscle Stopwatch. You gotta get back up, you can have it. Break your playtime records. The soft and squeaky timepiece is stuffed with a disc squeaker and crackling crinkle. So it has crinkle paper, a nylon strap, and a disc squeaker in it. So the strap to hold onto, it's fuzzy, it makes noise, and... What do you think? Don't really care? How about this one? You like that one. Okay. Next, we'll do toy number two. This is very strange. It looks like a rat of some sort that looks thoroughly angry. This is Jimbo, Jim Rat. Oh, actually, that makes a lot of sense. Duh. Behind the squeaks, you can tell Jimbo has been working out. He is absolutely bulging with two disc squeakers and crackling crinkle. Plus, he makes a mean cheddar smoothie. I'm thinking of putting cheese in my morning smoothie, and that just sounds awful. But he's got arms that crackle. You are drooling. Come on. A very long tail. And then you can feel that they're like two squeakers back to back. What do you think? I'm very glad you don't like him because I don't either. Yeah. We're going to go through about 9 million toys in a minute. All right, we have two things left. 
The next one is Pup You Up Salmon. Uh, salmon. Wow. You can tell it's midnight. <laughs> it's salmon uh, powered dog treats. Done. It has anti inflammatory properties, boosts the immune system, carrots, kale, and sea cucumber. Are you okay? But a drama there. You okay, Whoopi? She just made like puking noises. She been she ate a stick yesterday and like actually ate the stick. So not one of her best moments, and she's been throwing up stick pieces all day, driving me insane. But you seem totally fine. She's actually super normal, etc. Yeah. I think it's because she's flipped upside down. Do you want to come down here and sit? No? All right. Well, we'll try the salmon ones. See, still food motivated. <laughs> okay. So once again, these have carrots, kale, and sea cucumber. We'll do a half of one of these. Nico, come on. Back up. Sit. 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 These definitely smell like fish. Okay, and last but not least, we have Power Pup, uh, Pup Protein Bar. Peanut butter is the first ingredient, grain free, take on the go with peanut butter and carob. I am not going to open this at the current moment because I do not need another one at the <laughs> right now, but that is actually really cute in the little workout box. And the paper in here is very 80s. Oh my goodness, and on the back, it has like workouts with the pups, so there's like roll over and play fit. Um, they're doing the paws, upright, seductions, lap jumps, so you sit on a box and your dog jumps. That's, that's actually really adorable. You guys know if you've seen some of these before, I very much so appreciate the papers. Okay, so now that we have gone through the BarkBox. Side note, if you want a BarkBox of your own, you can go to BarkBox.com slash TinkAndMeek or use code TinkAndMeek in the Bark Shop. But now that we have finished with that, I think both of these are probably going to be donated just because sometimes they love them and sometimes not so much. And next time you see me talking to you, there's going to be a big old pile of dog stuff. So I'm going to go around the house. I'm going to bring all of their toys in. Um, maybe and probably like leashes and stuff like that. The dog beds are staying where they are because I have donated a few of those in the past couple of months. And so all of the ones I have right now, I want, but let the purging commence. No. So, all of this laid out is kind of absolutely ridiculous. Generally speaking, maybe every couple of months we go through all of the toys and um, like donate them. We've done the Dumb Friends League and a bunch of other pup-based rescue organizations, etc., that are here in Denver. If you have a favorite rescue organization and they have a branch in Denver or just your favorite in general, let me know in the comments below. I like to switch it up just because all of the puppies need some love. Hi. But yes, so we have not done this. We, like the dogs can do it. Um, I have not done this in a few months and some of these are sentimental for me, which is kind of a weird thing to think about with a dog toy, but like I can like pull some out and be like, this was Miko's first baby toy and have like pictures and all of that jazz. So I need to get rid of some of those just because they're not using them anymore. And the other thing about my two pups is they are not destroyers. So they will have toys for like forever 
I know a lot of my friends dogs the toys are like immediately like ripped apart etc and obviously that is not the case here it is midnight well probably after midnight at this point so I didn't go outside and get all their squeaker balls but they use those all the time and they're covered in mud and I'm just not dealing with that and I did grab a a load of toys that I rescued from the yard earlier today and put through the washing machine. But let's just go ahead and sort through them. And there are some treats that ended up in here, but for the most part, all of my I Am Loving You treats, if you follow the dogs on Instagram, if you don't, you're silly. I'll put their handle up on the screen. It's at Tink and Meek. And that's actually why we get most of this stuff. They are pretty cute and popular on Instagram so a lot of the companies like to send stuff over and I did a big unboxing of their treats and their food for the month so that's not in here but let's just jump in oh boy that felt very Philly D of me let's just jump into it okay we're gonna have fun how about this guy there's the tags still on here you don't even like them Hmm. Nope. Okay. Should probably get an IKEA bag to put donates in. IKEA was selling pride totes for Pride Month, and I am all about this. So this bag will not be donated, but all the toys going into it will. Okay. We have our shark. Miko has had this since, no, this was Tinkerbell's from when she was a puppy. It started to get a little interesting. Don't really care. I guess we can donate this one. This is what I mean. I'm like, I know exactly where it came from and it just makes me so sad, but they haven't used it. And it's been in the bottom of this like giant toy chest for forever. So some other puppy will love that. What do you think about him? Yeah, you, you play with him all the time. We'll go back and be keep. Okay. Mr. Corn? Don't care. Pineapple? Oh boy, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, we're gonna do a quick little time lapse going on, going through some of these and maybe I'll stop it. Um, when fun things or things that I'm a little like, what's going on about happen? But let's get some of these done. This is one of the ones that I cannot give away. You girls haven't played with it in forever, but this is, I believe, one of Tinkerbell's very first toys. And we already gave away the shark, so my lobster is staying. It's staying, huh? Also, this is ridiculous. This is a Kong toy. It's incredibly phallic. It looks ridiculous. And both of them love it. It drives me bonkers. It is very funny when... Obviously, it makes interesting noises. It's very funny when I have guests come over and they one of the dogs will bring this out of the basket. So I have a toy basket downstairs and I have a toy basket that's like right behind the camera. And they will bring it out in their mouth and people look at that like, um, excuse me? Yeah, that's fine, huh? These are one of the other things. I did an unboxing on Instagram, on their Instagram account, and Outward Hound sent us a bunch of their toys and like their overall like umbrella of toys. Listen to this. It's awful. They love them. Like, love them. We'll search through the toy boxes to get them. <coughs> and there are two of them. Yeah, I, I know you just... I, I wish it was going behind me. 
but it's going in the toy box. Okay, so we have gone through all of the toys. There is a giant bag of donates. Um, what I'll probably do with those is I will go through and the ones that aren't like new and not used, I will chuck them in the wash. <laughs> Miko has found an antler. Not right now. Come on. Nah, 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 nah. Get up here. Over here. Come on. You're being a very good girl. Yeah, you're being a good puppy. So are you. Yes. So these will be washed and then donated. And then this is kind of the more like interesting stuff that we'll go through. Oh, these are still on the floor from our last unboxing. I actually keep these in a jar, and so a lot of times I will, um, if I can recycle them, I'll recycle them, but I will put all of these in a jar so they're just like easy to hold on to treats, and then some of the other ones that we know that we're not going to use, because we get a lot of treats all the time, they go straight in the donate. Okay. This, puppy dry shampoo. If you didn't know, I make my own, and I absolutely love it, and it's really great for both of the pups. I will link to that video somewhere around, and um, I'll put it in the description box, too. We've got more balls. But yes, what is all of this? Oh my goodness. I got this. This is from Waterpick, and it connects to your hose, and it's like a shower head, but outside for bathing the dogs, and it is one of my favorite things it makes life so much easier and you can like use it one-handed and it should yes if you don't have this you should get one especially if you have dogs that are fuzzy obviously these are their harnesses and their double leash i feel like i'm missing some leashes they're probably in a hiking back some backpack somewhere but i'm not dealing with that at the current moment Okay, this is a Kurgo. It like attaches to um, like the seats to keep the dogs in the back of the car. It doesn't work. Mine go like flying Linda overhead or will be very upset if one of them does not get to be in the front seat. So I think someone else will like this. We've got some treats here. I am loving you. They're your favorite. You're such a great brand, huh? We've got a little wholesome pride sweet potato treat. We have a big bag of these elsewhere, so I'm going to put those and donate. Ooh, I didn't even know we had any of this left. This is Kong um, peanut butter, though, like the stuff you squeeze inside, so that will stay. And all of these little pop-up bowls, I have some that are attached to hiking backpacks, so I don't need the little branded ones. More little baby treats. Ooh, this is very necessary. This is your nail clipper. What do we think? Can I have a paw? You want one? Yeah, these are getting a little long. Yay! <laughs> we'll do that tomorrow, okay? Oh, another little bone. Okay, rescue remedy. When I was at Expo West, if you guys don't know, um, my job essentially is I have a website and health and wellness and the whole thing. So you guys know this is called Habits of a Modern Hippie. So I went to Expo West, which is like an all natural foods conference, and I ran into the folks at Rescue Remedy and they gave me some of their pet stuff. I have been using this for literal years, but they have like a little first aid kit and it's got like gloves and tape and the Rescue Remedy and this just is adorable. Okay, I think I'm just gonna dump this out and see what's in here. This is all like supplements and dog bags and all of that, but there's probably some stuff because I haven't gone through here in a very long time. So we know this is staying. 
Um, these are reusable bags that I don't need. Actually, this one is broken, so. This is super cute, a little pride one, but this is just way too short and there's only one of them, so that will be donated. I have no idea what this is. Fauna Care for Animals Silver Spray. This is gonna be a maybe, I wanna look up and see what it is. It's always funny to find little boys underwear because someone wears silly things like Batman. You Batman? <laughs> Ooh, these are their original collars. You can see how small they were from when they were puppies. Um, it's from White Pine Outfitters and it is some of my favorite puppy stuff. So I'm actually gonna keep these because if you guys don't know and the reason why Miko is in heat at the current moment, not this cycle, but hopefully the next one, I'm gonna breed her once and then have her spayed. But yes, um, Tank and Meek, you know, are half sisters and I'm gonna keep the line in the family. So eventually I'll have three of you. Yeah. So these will stay in here for future use. Oh my goodness. I should probably get another one of these. I love these. So this leash has my college on it. I went to Boston College, if you didn't know. And yes, when we're back in Boston, we'll have to use that again. You girls are being so good and so patient. This, if you do not have it in your life, you absolutely need it. It's dog aspirin. So Tink, because she's getting a little bit older, especially when we do like really long hikes and things like that, um, aspirin can be very helpful because your joints get a little uh, inflamed. There was actually a video about this that I had like a full mental breakdown <laughs> on the trail and it was because Tink was like, not feeling great and I had a panic attack, the whole shebang. Um, I went a lot far into that in the vlog so I'll link that down below too. And we're gonna just go a little bit quicker here. So, Okay, what we have left, I thought I would go through because they're some of my favorites. I popped extra dog poop bags. All the biodegradable ones are going in here. The ones that aren't went into donate. So extra leashes. We have um, all of their toothbrushes, toothpaste for, um, this one is just from a Petco. For one, I don't feel like making my own. I do make all them their own toothpaste and I'll link to that video too. And yes, and then this thing has actual like dental tools in it. I just got it off of Amazon and so my pups let me clean their teeth. I would not recommend it if you don't have kind of like training in it, but I have used this for a while. Okay, other things. If you watched my eye herb um, like unboxing, all of these are in it, and I've been using these. They're amazing. We have the Immune Boost, the Multivitamin Mineral, and the Relax. And I actually pop both of these guys into their wet food when I make it their like dehydrated, rehydrated food. So these are amazing, and these stay with the food, so they don't have to go into this box. This is sea meal, um, and they're little like treats as well, and they have seaweed, flaxseed, uh, digestive enzymes, dried lemon peel, and rosemary. And so we keep these two, and those are in treats, so they're different. The relaxed one will go. These make me laugh every time. I got these for Tinkerbell a long time ago, and I should get another pair for Miko. They are the rough wear little booties. <laughs> so I never have them wear it in, like, in the mountains, in the snow, or anything like that. They don't need it. Um, that's where Musher's Secret comes into play. I have a bunch of these because I have them in like every hiking bag. Musher's Secret is like a wax protectorant. And so that will go back in here. And they actually, Musher's Secret just sent me one. So it's got a brand new tub as well. Obviously I like them. <laughs> 
the color slightly changed. Interesting. Anyhow, so that will go back in here. And these are more for, I like them when they're like in the city and walking in salt and things like that. So Tinkerbell has a pair. We should get Miko a pair too, huh? But they have Vibram bottoms, so they have like grip and whatnot. And then the um, top has Velcro, so they won't come off their feet. And yes, she does look like a Tennessee stepping horse. It is quite amusing. So those I'm keeping. And then last but not least, we've got some kind of accessories. If you haven't seen my like zillion Instagram videos on the Chom Chom, these things are f incredible. Um, it's, it has a little, <coughs> excuse me. It has um, just like a little chamber inside and you can like roll it up and down on the couch or on any kind of like surface in general and not like dry surfaces where you can sweep stuff up but it removes pet hair like there's no tomorrow it's incredible i love it and then some of these this is where i get bougie so pet well is like a dog accessories brand and this is a set of massage tools fully aware that it sounds ridiculous this one I haven't used because I think it will get stuck in their fur, so I'm going to donate that. But these two, the dogs love. And especially Tink when she gets a little sore. What is that? It's a roller ball, and you can roll it up and down all over the place. Doesn't that feel nice? And I, I had absolutely thought that this was going to get stuck in their fur. It doesn't. So there's a handheld one and then there's one with a bigger ball and a smaller ball. So in like other interesting places. What you doing? Do, do, do. Yeah. So yes, I give myself a uh, dog's massages. This is another one that I thought would get stuck and I have, and I just got cut off. So I don't know where it got cut off, but the last one is a bigger roller ball. It's the same kind of thing. You can roll it on the pups. But this one actually feels really nice on you as well. So that, I believe, is it. I know there's going to be like a few other things hiding in like hiking backpacks and things like that. But coming from an excessive amount of toys to, I mean, this is still pretty excessive, but all of this is going to be donated. So we've got everything from bowls and treats to toys and massagers all in here, which will be great. And I can't wait to give this to one of our local puppy rescues. Hi. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification bell. And especially with sustainable summer coming up, I know I have been really bad about uploading videos on time <laughs> so sustainable summer i've got planned out so hopefully if it goes to plan we will have three videos a week we're going to have a health and wellness type ish video those are going to be a wide array essentially that goes along with habits of modern hippie there will be a puppy one and there will be a vlog so hopefully that works out I'm thinking Tuesday or Wednesday for the wellness, Fridays are vlogs, and then we've got some weird Sundays. But yeah, so stick around. If you liked this video, get a big, big thumbs up, and I will see you again soon. Bye. You're such good puppies. Such good puppies. So good. So good. And you too. You too. Can you say goodbye? Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Oh, no. That was a baby who said goodbye. I want you. Yeah. Hi, bye. Good job. Hi, bye. Good job. So many. I love you. Yeah, I do. I love you. What are we going to do? Are we going to go put this in the car to oh. donate? Are you so excited to give to puppies in need? Oh, I want Yeah.